Hello, my dear precious friends. Glory. Hallelujah. Church, I want to share something with you today. Last year, when I went off the internet, Preston and I, we both were told by the Holy Spirit that we would see what John saw, but we would see it taking place in this world. Even though John got to see what was happening in the spiritual realm, and he saw what the what had happened there and what it caused upon the earth. That's what God wants us to know, church. What you're seeing on this earth happened in a spiritual realm, but you are like seeing the cause of it on the earth, but in, on the earth you're seeing it in the fleshly realm. You're not seeing what was behind it, the cause of it in the spiritual realm. And the Holy Spirit told Preston and I that we would indeed see it both happening in the spiritual and the fleshly realm. And the Holy Spirit said, you must lay down all doctrine of man. Church, that was hard because I, I believed certain things all of my life that I learned in the church. And I believed it and I held on to it. And so did Preston. Because Preston went to Bible college. And God told Preston and I, lay it down. Lay down the doctrine of man. What man has taught you. Because we started to see with our own eyes, it just was not lining up with the word and the will of God. And we started questioning it. And we started saying, wait a minute, something's not right here. And we had to lay it down. Church, I'm going to tell you, it sounded like it was easy, but it was not. It was the hardest thing I had to do was to lay down. And it just literally shook me and Preston that we had to lay down everything that all of our life we believed it was the truth because we were taught it in the church. And the Holy Spirit told us, lay it down. And church, we started seeing the truth. And last year... I fell on my hands and my knees before God. Preston and I both did church. And we both said to God, We want to know the truth. If it is not the truth, get it, get it out of us, Lord. We want to know the truth. Church, you can't build on the foundation of God with lies. You've got to build on the foundation of God on Jesus Christ with the truth. You've got to build that house with truth. The truth of God. So we laid it down. And every day I would go before God and I would say, I know nothing. I know nothing, almighty God. Nothing. I laid down everything at your feet. And then I heard the Holy Spirit speaking to me. He said, Donna, many have come this far and are not willing to lay down what they believe to be the truth. They refused to lay it down. They held on to that doctrine of man so tight that it would shake everything they had in them and they were not willing to lay it down. And I said to the Holy Spirit of God, I lay it down, Lord. If it is not the truth, I will lay it down. I want it out of me. I don't want anything in me that's not the truth. That I, I believed it. And the Holy Spirit said, many come this far and not willing to lay it down. The doctrine of man. They believe it to be the truth. So they turn back and hold on to the doctrine of man. What was taught to them. And I said, Lord, I lay down everything. I lay it down. I know nothing. Teach me the truth. And the Holy Spirit said, Donna, the first three and a half years are tribulation. The last three and a half years are the great tribulation. The church will escape the days as the days of Noah. Remember, Donna, when the earth was filled with violence and God saw the wickedness in the earth and came to destroy the wickedness of man? And he saw Noah and saved him in the ark of God. He said, Donna, the church will escape. The great tribulation, just like Noah, the ark of God, will save the church, just like Noah. He said, remember, Donna, Noah saw the destruction 
of the wicked with his own eyes and knew what God spared him from, so will the church. The church will witness the destruction of the wickedness of man upon this earth. And the church will rejoice because their God saved them from the destruction. And I said, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the ark of God. Thank you, Jesus, for salvation. Glory, hallelujah. Woo! God bless you, church. Church, if there's anything in us that is false doctrine, the teaching of man, let us lay it down and let us seek the truth. For Jesus Christ is the truth. Amen. God bless you, church. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name. Amen.